Welcome back to Bears Rod Shop, July the 5th. Hope everyone had a wonderful vacation. And uh, I always start off with our sticker boards because we're so thankful for our creators sending in stickers and hope they're receiving ours okay. Today is back on the scroll saw and not a dilemma, but uh, something that needed addressed and taken care of. And inside I've got temporarily mounted the drive uh, part that works the, here's the centrifugal. I'm trying to reach across one hand. There would be on his high lobe right there, the elliptical cam that's in there. And then there would be on its low side. This uh, washer that holds on the 202, which uh, bracket, and uh, that would be a NSS 202. But I'm working off of uh, uh, one of the, uh, from Keith Rucker, uh, revision of 1946, but it says that it's uh, Delta uh, Milwaukee. But I don't have... I don't have a Delta Milwaukee. There's no other numbers, so this may be uh, pre-46. I'm still trying to date this thing. This is granddad's, you know, and uh, it'd be nice. I was born in 53, and it was already in the shop, of course, when I was a toddler running around out there in about 55 and uh, watching him work this thing. I'm getting off subject. If this helps one person... Anyhow, this washer that uh, goes up and grabs part 202, this comes in from inside. And no, the bolts don't go from the bottom up. They go from the top down. And when I got this saw, there was one bolt missing and a stove bolt put over here on this side, on the left side. And no wonder the table was, you know, all floppy jawed around and everything. So this is the uh, part number here, uh, the 202 that holds the table. And uh, trying to get this thing wrapped up. But uh, this washer had a slight bit of warp and it's only 20 thou thick. Now they're expecting those, uh, I guess, real maintenance. It, you can see the warpage. Let me get around like this. And you're going to see two different bolts. This head here hasn't been ground, and this one has been ground down, and I'm going to show you my fix that I think is going to work really well, and hopefully it helps just one other creator going through uh, an old 24 scroll saw. Of course, mine's got the air pump. All right, this is going to go up. White dot goes to the uh, left side over to the drive unit. And you're gonna say, well, it's not gonna fit in there. Let's turn this over. What, get your white dot. I've already uh, had Loctited these in. Perfect. Use the 609 Loctite, the green. That is stubborn mule Loctite. I could have silver soldered. I could have come in here and either put a TIG weld on this. Could have, There's a lot of ifs. I could have rebuilt this whole washer. Or I could have come over here and drilled and tapped new uh, quarter 20s. But man, there's not much to hold that bolt down through the top. And when you get a big old... Uh, man out there, you know, twisting on that thing to turn the uh, table sideways and then doesn't go back and lock it down. Uh, you know, the, the holes get wallered out. Especially at only 20, you know, I would think it would have made this thing 30 thousandths thick and it would have still cleared that cam. 30 thousandths. Either that or they could have actually jumped up you know, the casting or reduce this by maybe uh, less than 20 thousandths, 18 thousandths, and everything would have cleared. Let me uh, see if we can't do this uh, one handed on the camera. I got me a white dot so I know which way to go. 
I already used my Joe blocks. Uh, I know where my clearance is got to be. And this is the direction that it's got to go. And uh, I'm not going to be able to turn loose of this and roll that, but it already it's clearing over about two and a half thou. So it, it's clear. Let's put this back out here a minute. Put this one white dot to white dot. And there approximately is your 20,000 clearance as it's clamped. You got room for a washer, a lock washer, and the nut. And I'm not putting on locking nuts, no. Uh, I'm dependent on that, that uh, 609 Loctite to never let these bolts move. I would have run to the hardware store and got grade eights. These are grade fives. But, uh, you know, this is cast, and I do not want to put grade fives in over torque because there is a chance you could bust anything on these uh, castings. Just put gentle pressure on there, and then you can just back these off real easy, and uh, then your plate will swivel. I don't know if it's going to help one single person, one other creator. Somebody's doing a, a Delta... 24 inch scroll saw like this one we've got but uh, if it does please uh, shout out give us a comment got the uh, thing mounted here all uh, nice on that new uh, 200 plus year old piece of oak and I'm not through yet I'm going to go ahead and after I remove this I'm going to end up coming in from the drilling and uh, there's a of course a uh, plug to drain the oil instead of undoing it i'm gonna cut that hole in the bottom of the oak straight through it's about an inch and a quarter plug but i'll cut it enough so i can come in uh, with an allen wrench i got plenty of room up underneath here to do that and uh that was an afterthought uh, late yesterday afternoon i said well why didn't i cut a deal to make it easy i i want to change that oil you know, over 100 hours or 200. Then I got to remove the saw off the table. Second thoughts. Down here on the floor. Let's zoom in here just a minute. I got that treadmill motor, which is a 175 horse, 1.75 DC motor. It's going to take away, if unless I make a, a fake shield to go across but then I'm going to block heat and put a uh, motor power controller and a pensiometer. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pull that uh, Delta one third off. It's the same motor as on here that I just uh, did the bearings on. Got that on a video. I'm going to leave this one alone. This motor over here on the drill tree works just fine. I use the drill press more than the drill tree. And if I ever get in a pinch, it's about a 10 minute ordeal to pull that off and put it on the drill tree. I'm gonna go ahead now, change the plans and mount. And I will paint and detail that motor out. I don't want Randy Richards to uh, kind of give me a uh, snicker because he did such a good job on that Delta table saw joiner, man. So, Randy, we're going to take that motor and detail it out. She's going to go on the old vintage uh, scroll saw. I've been looking and Googling, and you know what? This may have been before they uh, went over to Milwaukee and way before uh, they went over and, uh, you know, went merged in with Rockwell. Guys, take a look at this thing. I hope Keith Rucker would look at this. What uh, what have I got? What year model? I mean, it's all cast in. All the casting for the, uh, you know, the Delta right here. And it says 201 on the base, but this is a 210. This is going to be a shorty today. I really hope that uh, helped out. Do not, do not. Let me get this back off. 
I'm moving the camera around a little bit. Get this in place first. Get it up there. There, white goes in there, and white goes in there. And uh, if I didn't move it too far, nope. Put you a, a washer or so, or you know, a little bridge across there. Just uh, zip tie it or whatever. Hold it up in place out of your way before you start sticking this plunger. Plunger in. And this bracket, of course, and you can't put the bracket on the, the plunger because you're gonna end up just like I did today. Whoops, where am I at? Taking it back off the uh, plunger rod. And uh, so you'd have to do this assembly up here to stick the plunger on, stick her down in there. And uh, top hole, the bottom hole, We've already found out for some other uh, rebuilders and stuff that uh, all that is for is you can put a punch or an awl in there and you can hold that and then you can twist it. You ain't got much room, but if it's stuck in there or bent to where you don't want to drive on this, that you can wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and out she goes. So again, Bear's Rod Shop here for July the 5th and we hope that uh, our saw bill has helped one person. If it has, please give us a thumbs up and share and subscribe. And the stand just turned out just really super nice. I've got to uh, put on the other side of the rollers, uh, put the uh, rubber blocks, and uh, that'll do it. Once I get this back off, it'll be a lot easier to install them. I left them off right now, making sure I worked out all the bugs. Bears Rod Shop, thanks to all our viewers and subscribers. Please come back. Please help us grow. Have a great uh, weekend coming up. We're out of here.